This is the solution to written homework 47. Uh, as announced on the mailing list, to simplify the exercise, uh, you can have the addi additional assumption that x is positive. Okay. So then, taking this differential equation, dy uh, dx is y over x, This exercise can be solved um, either by separating variables or by using an integrating factor. So let's do separation. So that would be uh, 1 over y dy is 1 over x dx. <clears throat> if you anti-differentiate both sides, then you get log of absolute value of y is log of absolute value of x plus a constant. However, with the simplifying assumption that x is positive, that's saying that log of absolute value of y is log of x a constant. <clears throat> so now we can determine C by using the uh, initial data. We know that when we plug in y is 1 and x is 1, uh, that should be a solution. <clears throat> so log of 1 is log of 1 plus C, and that tells us that C is 0. Uh, therefore, we know that the log of the absolute value of y is uh, lo the log of x. We can exponentiate both sides to obtain absolute y uh, is x. <coughs> So there's y, two solutions, y is negative x or y is x. However, uh, there is only one solution, only y is x, <coughs> because uh, this one does not satisfy the original data. Okay, so that's solving the question with separation of variables. Alternatively, it could be solved uh, using an integrating factor. So then you could write dy dx uh, plus negative 1 over x y is equal to 0. <clears throat> and we can use an integrating factor. So this negative 1 over x factor is, is p, and the integrating factor is i of x is exponential of, antiderivative of, negative 1 over x dx. <clears throat> so that is uh, exponential of um, negative log of x, of absolute value of x, really. However, we can drop the absolute value of x uh, because we have the simplifying assumption that x is positive. So this is exponential of log 
of 1 over x. So that is bringing the negative inside, so 1 over x is x to negative 1, so this is just 1 over x because the exponential and the log cancel. Now we can take this integrating factor and multiply it by this. So that's 1 over x dy dx minus <clears throat> 1 over x squared y is 0. So that's saying that d dx uh, dx d dx of 1 over x y is 0 so d 1 over x y is 0 dx <coughs> so y over x is c because the antiderivative of 0 dx is a constant c <coughs> And uh, this C, this C, I should really write a different letter so it's not to be confused with this C, so I'll write K. Now we can use the initial data. Plug it in. <coughs> So that's saying that when x and y are both 1, that should be a solution. So that tells us that 1 is k. <clears throat> and therefore, uh, the solution is y is x, just like in the separation case. 